I'm now going to cover the topic of how to assemble a smart 110 centimeter satellite dish. So you see in front of me the basic kit as it's shipped by TV Trade, which is the skin of the dish here, which you can see, and also a box containing all the components. Um, so it basically has um, a dish bracket, an elevation bracket, an arm, a box components, and a set of instructions. So what we've done for the purpose of this demonstration, I've already lined out all the components on the bench here. Now, there's three basic stages to the assembly of the dish. The first thing is to assemble the dish and assembly bracket together. The next thing is to um, add on uh, the dish bracket onto the satellite dish. And the final step is to add on the LMB uh, arm and fix it onto the dish. So we'll just start off here by showing you the tools we'll need for this process. We'll need a Phillips uh, screwdriver. Uh, we also need a 10 and a 13 millimeter spanners, or alternatively, uh, a 10 and 13 millimeter sockets with a ratchet. Okay, I'll just move this tool out of the way. Um, and we'll start off with the assembly of the actual um, uh, um, dish and, uh, uh, and elevation bracket together. So the disc can be mounted on two ways, but the correct way to mount it is, if you see, look carefully, you'll see on the elevation bracket here we have a mark that's indicating the um, um, uh, the position in terms of the angle of the dish, and it lines up with on the actual uh, elevation or the dish bracket here. It's you'll see 20, 30, 40 degrees marked. Okay, so what we do is we push this on, it takes a little bit of effort to slide it on, and then we just try to roughly line up the two holes. Now, what we want to do here is use these bolts to fix this into position, but before we do that, we'll, we'll need to put in these um, um, collars here, and the purpose of these collars is to simply um, when we're, we tighten the, the dish into position, what we do not want it to happen um, is that it actually depresses the, the overall shape of the dish bracket, okay? So what we have here is um, we come along and we slot it through on one uh, thing here and we just tighten on our 13 millimeter nut and we repeat, repeat the same process. But this probably is the trickiest part. The, the key to sliding these in successfully is to just keep them level all the way down so they'll just roll into position like this. Uh, otherwise, if you try to angle the barrel in any way, you'll find great difficulty in sliding it into position. But it is a good design because um, it works quite well. What we'll do now is uh, we'll just try to position. Just slide all the way through, hopefully successfully. You can see it's about to pop out on the far side. Just rotate this now and you can see we have it here and what we'll do is we just put on the washer and the nut again. So that, that's that um, part of it. This is probably the trickiest single part of the, the dish assembly is complete there now. Now we have the actual brackets that the slot in here. There's a total of three holes here. What we're going to use is the U-bolts into the top and bottom holes. And this will actually be what will be used to attach this um, uh, 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 the, the dish onto a pole eventually, okay? So what we do is we rotate this around, we drop it in position like this, and now we have a washer and a nut. We tighten it into position manually initially, just like this. And we're going to repeat the process with the next U-bolt, which we'll slide in here. Slide it down into position, and then washer and nut again. And that's not part of that assembly. What we do now, of course, is we would, when we have the dish fully assembled, we would actually slot this on over, we'll say, an inch or a two-inch pole here, and then we'll just tighten this into position and lock the position into position. And when we're adjusting the actual height of the, the angle of the dish, we we'll use this here to actually rotate. And these nuts uh, eventually will be tightened in quite tight to lock it into a final position. Now we're on to the second stage of the process now, because we want to actually fix this dish um, and dish and elevation bracket onto the dish itself. So what we're going to do here is we have six nuts and six bolts, and we can see we can have a series of nuts and bolts here. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to line this up. It's quite easy to line it up correctly because we just line up the slot here. So what we do here at this particular point in time is simply move this slightly in closer. Uh, we will simply push 
are not true from the far side. And we line it up with the dish here. And we simply come along again. We take a nut like this and tighten it in. And we just can hold this man here with a 10 millimeter thing. Telemeter, telemeter, millimeter spanner, and we just lock this into position here. We're, we're using a Phillips screwdriver. So we'll repeat the process on the bottom uh, corner here for demonstration purposes. Now, obviously, in, in reality, what we would do is we put in all um, uh, six nuts, nuts and bolts. Okay, and once again, okay, tighten it in. In this particular case, we'll actually come and we'll use our uh, spanner, Phillips, and that's locked quite securely into position. Okay, so that's the second part of the process complete. So the final part of the assembly of the Smart 110 centimeter dish is actually to assemble the LMB arm and fit it onto the dish. So we'll just quickly do the assembly of the arm first and then fix it onto the dish. So what we're going to do here is. I have in front of me the LMB holder here. So you can see that one side of the LMB holder is simply held down with a nut and a bolt. And what I do is I just slot in an LMB like this. And I twist it here. And I get an, a bolt here. Which I can simply slide straight through like this. And then I can put a nut underneath. Okay. And uh, which pushes in and locks in quite neatly. And just use a Phillips screwdriver here and I can lock the LMB into position. So that's the LMB uh, things. And the next thing is to actually fit this onto the satellite dish. So you can see there's two holes here and two there. If we look closely at the LMB holder here, we can see there's hexagonal shapes here, which are actually lined up for nuts to slip directly through. Okay, so we can do this here and here. Um, and we can slide these into position here like this. And hopefully it'll line up quite well with the nuts, with the holes that we have. So let's pick our scenario here, we're quite good. Good to go. What we do is we simply get this nut here and just try to line it up and screw it into position like that. And we simply repeat the same process for the top nut. So it's quite simple. Um, and what we're going to do then is we simply pick up this pre-assembled arm, we slide it from above into position here, and it slides down like this. And you can see there's a hole through the base here, and it lines up with a hole in the in the, the back of the dish bracket. And quite happily for us, uh, it's pre-treaded that bracket, so we don't actually need a nut for this. We're just going to tighten it in by hand and then we can drive it home with a 10 millimeter spanner. And equally then, we have a nut in the bolt that will actually slide across here. So it's to lock the LMB arm in from the second position. It's quite like this. And what we do then is, there. So then we have a fully assembled satellite dish. What we can do is we can just turn over the dish here. You can see it in its full glory. Okay. And then we'll just rotate around so you can see the fully assembled dish at the back as well. Very really important here. So we have the elevation bracket here, which can twist to give us different degrees. And then we have this for locking directly onto a satellite um, uh, pole bracket. And we can we can rotate it initially and when we're happy with the positioning. So we have the two degrees, we have all the degrees of rotation we need up and down and over and back. And then when we have it lined up with satellite meter, lock it into position. And this is a very, very sturdy, high quality satellite dish. So that's it from beginning to end. Uh, assembly of a 110 centimeter smart satellite dish.